Cool. Um, first, I just want to say congratulations to Yusuf Okazi for your award yesterday. Um, I, will, I have two questions. Um, so, uh, Tim Battelle announced his retirement yesterday on social media. You mind expressing your thoughts on the impact he has had on Cricket South Africa and maybe personally for yourself too? Cool. Thanks, Nathan. Um, yeah, I heard of the news yesterday um, of Dale's retirement from international cricket. Um, I, mean, I had the, the pleasure of, of playing with Dale. Well, when I joined the team, he was obviously one of the senior players within the team. Um, one of the guys who, who welcomed me um, and made me feel um, a part and that I belong within the team. Um, I mean, his achievement, his statistics obviously speak for himself. You know, he's a, he's a legend. Um, he's a goat, as the guys would call him. Um, and I think, you know, we wish him, well, I obviously wish him well in his future endeavors. Um, he's definitely had an impact um, and a role that he's played in us younger guys who've come into the team and will be, you know, trying our best to, to carry on what is left behind. All right, and then the last English question, how has uh, the, the, the COVID protocols been in the lead up to the first ODI? Um, yeah, these ones have been a bit stricter. Um, I think, you know, looking at, at Sri Lanka and the situation, um, the COVID situation and the fact that the country is under lockdown, that's probably the reason why. Um, but, I, you know, we were obviously expecting it as a team. It hasn't really come as a surprise to us. Um, and I believe we, we, are, we are managing well under, under the circumstances. Thanks very much, Nathan, and, and thank you for your congratulations. Just a reminder, please, everyone, if we can start with one question each. I do understand um, the Dale Stain question and, and then moving on to the next one. But if we can start with one question each, please, and then we'll move on to a second round if we do have time. Um, Ken, you can go ahead. Thank you. Thanks, Bukazi. Oh, very many congratulations to you. Well deserved. How's it, Timba? Um, um, no Quinny tomorrow. Um, who keeps? Is it Heinrich or Kyle, or are they both in the team like they were for the last ODI you played? Um, and the Proteas haven't won an ODI, ODI series for, I think, 18 months and haven't won a series away from home for, for nearly three years. What, what needs to happen um, in, the ODI, in the ODI squad um, to, to fix that record? Thanks, Ken. Um, yeah, it seems as if every time we play a series, there's always something that we haven't done that it seems as if we have to overcome as a team. Um, I think obviously we come here to Sri Lanka, you know, in foreign conditions to us. And, you know, our main aim is, is to obviously win the series. Um, I think it's as, it's as basic as that. Um, I can't, I think we can't focus on too much that has happened in the past. Yes, we can learn from it. Um, in the position that I've been, um, I mean, I've only been in this role as captain for the home series against Pakistan, against Ireland, the one that was affected by weather. So, I mean, there's still, I think there's still a lot, you know, for us to 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 overcome as a team. Um, but I mean, what's in front of us now is, is this Sri Lankan tour and to get the right results um, in our favour. Uh, in terms of the, the Heinrich and Carl answer, obviously they still have to finalize the, the, the squad, um, the starting 11. Um, but I think either person that comes in to keep Klaassen, Verena, I guess whoever's in the starting lineup, you know, we're confident that they can do the, the job. Vuyo Fidos, um, somebody by the name of iPhone, and then um, Kanyuso. Nathan, you can go with your puzzle question at the end. Thank you. Thanks, Fogazi. Uh, good day to you, Timber. Um, just with everything that's happening um, here at CSA, Timber, um, I think you guys have the opportunity now to sort of put out a display that would sort of send out a certain message to South Africa that possibly all is still well with, with cricket. And maybe I just want to get a sense of the attitude within the players right now. And if there is a specific message in terms of the display that you're going to be putting out, what sort of message would you want to send to South Africa now to say, despite that everything that is happening, whether behind closed doors, something is still right with cricket in the country? 
Yeah, I think I think with what's 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 been happening behind closed doors, as you put it, um, you know, our our responsibility, our role as the as players is to is to make sure what we do on the field um, is at a certain standard, um, and that's what will be that will, that's what we'll be striving to do. As I said, you know, our, our aim here in Sri Lanka is to win, um, and that's where our mind is at. Um, the conversations have largely been centered around that um, as to how we can play our, our best cricket here, um, and that's where our focus is. Um, and I think as players, you know, there's no need for us to get involved in other external matters, um, but our focus is what we want to do as a team. Those followed by um, iPhone, Kanyiso and Telford. Hi, Temba. Temba, um, obviously you're without three uh, big name players for this ODI series and there's World Cup Super League points to consider. Uh, can you just tell us how you're planning on on kind of juggling the team, but also like, you know, is it a big miss to not have these guys considering you got to get points? Thanks for those. Um, yeah, I mean, we are missing, I guess, key players within the team. Um, with those key players, there's experience that, we, that we're missing on the field. Um, in saying that, you know, um, I mean, we back the guys who are, who I guess coming in for those guys to do the job, you know, um, and I don't think we need to, we need to shy away from that. Um, if there's ever a time that you want to give those guys an opportunity, it's now um, when the stakes are, I guess, when there's a lot on, on the stakes, um, like you said, um, we're trying to accumulate as many points as we want for the, I guess, to qualify for the T20 cricket. I mean, to qualify for for the 50 over campaign. Um, but I mean, that doesn't, I don't believe that we are compromising on ourselves and the fact that we are missing a couple of guys. Um, so yeah, I think it's a massive opportunity for those guys coming in. It's a massive opportunity for everyone coming in to, to put in the performances um, for the team. I mean, ideally, you know, if you have a situation where you can select from a pool of 15 guys, we can put in match winning performances for, for the country. That's that's very ideal. And the only way to, to grow that to grow that base is by giving guys um, those opportunities. Thanks, Tams. Um can Mr. or Ms. iPhone, please identify themselves prior to asking their question. Thank you. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's me, Rex Clementine. Uh, I'm new to the system, so uh, apologies. Um, I just want to ask from the captain, uh, Dasun Shanak, uh, uh, before your press conference, uh, spoke about uh, depending heavily on uh, spin uh, to beat South Africa in this series. Uh, uh, if you can ask on, if you can speak on as to how well prepared you are to uh, take up that spin challenge and uh, on your own uh, spin options that you got, uh, you know, compared to a couple of years ago, South Africa do have uh, some good spin options. So if you can just talk through that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I guess, I mean, the awareness, um, we did expect that um, the conditions that would be presented would be favoring the slower boilers. So, I mean, we've tried to prepare, prepare ourselves as well as we could from a mental um, and a skill point of view. Um, we've put in the work and I guess for us now, it's about um, us trusting that we've put in the work and that um, under pressure, you know, we'll be able to put in the performances um, that we need to do. You know, we looking at our bowling attack as well. I think there's a bit of balance within our bowling attack in that um, if the pitches, you know, all seamer friendly, we've got options to exploit that. And then if the pitches do favor our slow bowlers, which we're expected to, to, to do so, we do have the slow bowlers to be able to be effective. So, yeah, I think we're quite um, well equipped from a bowling point of view. Um, yeah. Thank you, Timber, and thank you, Rex. Welcome to this press conference. Um, up next is Kanyiso and then Telford. Uh, good um, morning, good afternoon. Um, is it possible by the Buzang is chosen one in the Cloud Pill press conference? It's fine. Thank you. Um, just as a translation, Kanyiso will ask his question at the end. Um, Telford, over to you. Hello, Timber. Um, you're going into the series, obviously, without Enoch and Quest. 
and he's, I think it's fair to say he's probably the most respected assistant coach in international cricket. Can you tell us what the team will, will lose because he's not there? And do you know his reasons for leaving? Thanks, Talford. Um, yeah, I guess this is our first official series without, um, without Enoch, who obviously played the role of his assistant um, assistant to, to Mark Boucher. You know, quite a, quite a big loss, um, I'd like to think, to, to the team. You know, um, from a tactical, strategic point of view, um, for me personally, he was a he was a good soundboard, um, a person who I used to test my ideas against, um, and I guess it helped that um, I had working experience from him from domestic level. Um, in saying that, you know, this 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 is a situation that we find ourselves in. Um, and I think like Shamsi said in his earlier press, you know, life, life goes on. Um, and there's not much that we can do as players, at least um, from this point here on. Um, the reasons to, his, to, to him leaving, um, to be honest, Telford, as a team, we haven't had a, an official, I guess, forum or space where we've had, we've, we've had the opportunity to, to hear from Enoch himself as to what his reasons are. Um, a lot has been speculated within, within the media, and I don't think it would be fair on me to, I guess, to further add on that speculation. Um, I mean, as a, as a player, I mean, I can only wish him well in his future endeavors. Um, and I'm sure wherever he is, he'll be supporting um, and rooting for us. Thank you, Timber. Um, sorry, I just lost sight of my um, my chat panel. Um, can you say? Oh, sorry. Uh, Ken, you can go again. Thanks, uh, Supercozzi. Um, Timber, um, in the official CSA um, statement about Enoch's resignation, it said one of the reasons was he was not happy with the team culture and environment um, as captain and, and someone who was close to Enoch. Um, how does that make you feel? Yeah, look, I mean, it does, I guess it does make me feel some type of way. Um, like I said, like I said, Ken, I haven't had an opportunity to have a formal discussion with, um, with Enoch. I think probably when I get back um, to South Africa, I'd like to sit down with him um, and maybe unpack it a bit. Like I said, you know, I mean, those could be, I'd like to hear from him. I mean, he's the subject here at the end of the day. Um, and I mean, if there is merit, you know, to, 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 to his comments, if there is validity, um, as a member of the team, you know, it's something that I will take on board um, and have a discussion, you know, amongst the team. Um, I mean, in saying that, you know, um, some of the senior players within the team, you know, conversations have been had. Um, we've had looked at ourselves at this team and seeing, you know, how best we can do things. That's not to say that, you know, the culture, the culture is a, it's a, it's an unhealthy one. Um, I think every every team has areas in which they can improve on, you know, and you have to have those conversations. I get to identify those areas, but I think in terms of understanding it a bit more from Enoch's point of view, um, probably when I get back to South Africa, when things are kind of um, toned down and built toned down a bit in terms of the schedule, um, I'll have a conversation with them and then see what comes of it. Shamigan, I'm sorry if I if I'm butchering your name. You're up next, and then we'll have um, Fidos, and then we'll move on to the puzzle questions. Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, and uh, September, uh, we heard a bit from uh, the Sushan that it's uh, they're gonna go three to uh, spin attack, spin dominant, and of course having uh, four all rounders in Dananjiri Silva, Dasun Shanaka, Chanaka Silva, uh, Chanaka Naratna, and of course uh, uh, one of the Asuranga is gonna be added. Uh, batting strength to them. So to tackle that, I hope uh, that you also would be looking at a uh, spin dominant attack. And we know if that is the case, that uh, there's going to be Maharaj and uh, Shamsi as the first choice. But uh, is is that, does that mean that uh, there'll be a debut for George Lindell as uh, 
given credentials to his batting abilities also? And anything about that sort, who will, who will be that uh, third spinner if you are going to use? Okay. Uh, if, if I get you correctly, your question is basically whether George would be making his debut to bolster our spin um, resources. If that is your question, I mean, I, I can't speak to what the team is. Like I said, the team will be finalized um, after today's practice. You know, um, I believe that George in the squad, so I mean, he is a realistic, he is an option. Um, but then again, you know, like I said, the coach, the selectors, um, my bit of input, you know, they'll finalize, they'll finalize the team. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, Fidos? Ember, sorry, just to take you back to your uh, team culture. Can you just give us a, a glimpse into, I mean, how do you feel about it? Are you happy with the way that the, the team functions and, and is the culture thriving? Thanks, Fidos. I think, I think, I mean, culture is something, it's an ever-growing thing, to be honest. Um, you know, if I look at, you know, when I came into the team, 2014, 2015, you know, there was a certain type of team culture um, displayed in the public through Protea Fire. Um, and that had a certain, I guess, purpose, certain um, meaning behind it, you know. Um, and the main custodians, you know, the guys who had that responsibility of building that culture, um, unfortunately, not here, not here. Um, guys like, you know, Faf, JP, Dale, AB. Um, now you have a different set of senior players who now have that responsibility of building a new culture. Um, and I think that is still within its early stages. Um, and I mean, for us, it's about, you know, the younger guys um, instilling those values, the right values um, and cultivating that um, the culture. So I think it is, it is in that stage um, for me to say whether it's a bad culture, you know, I don't think I don't think it's at it's it's at that point. To be honest with you, what I will say it is something that is that we are still cultivating, um, and I mean conversations are happening amongst the team. You know, hard hard conversations are happening amongst the team. Are happening amongst management levels. Um, conversations that are challenging each other. All you know, with the view of us cultivating an environment that that allows guys to to play at their best, um, but most importantly, have that proper sense of belonging. Um, I think the other thing that we need to consider as well is that, you know, we've got two captains um, in myself and Dean Olga. Um, and I mean, Dean and I, you know, gave ourselves an opportunity to share ideas as to how we'd like to, we'd like to take the team. He obviously has his philosophy of doing things. I have my philosophy of doing, um, doing things. So getting us to meet at some type of a halfway, you know, there is that balancing act. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, I've said a lot, but I think in terms of the culture for those, you know, it's something that we are cultivating. I mean, it's definitely not anywhere near, um, the end product, if I could say. Thank you. Nathan, you're up with Tosa. Uh, thank you, Spobazi, again. Um, Lombuzo, Lande, Lande, Lombuzo, Ka, Talford, coaching is Tosa Puti, Kutala, Bandebuza, Um, to Wayangu, Sekala, Kamka, Kresh, Uinok, in the Miake, being done with the color card. Uh, in the Miake, you beg, I put and okay, let's say, get like a cup pouch. Um, no one's we began in the new show. Um, in the Maya Cuba, I notice a pouch, a cup of food, notice a corner. Um, Kumge, Jungum Jali, and the sevens and I, Kogi, domestic level. Why wouldn't them seven saka cool? Um, Ginger Lagba, why in the visa? Um, Gendos the tactics, Gendos the strategy. Um, why in the visa? Bala. Um, can you sign then we'll finish with um we shall finish with sorry i'm just having a look at the last class of question request ongama 
masibulele spogazi wuju o ngupu mwele lage izo lo kuchi kwi 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 za awards e pai e manibuli se manibu e getwa shage wa uchu njo ngu mkokeli bukia watu ngu mshambi uzabado mtelu mgeni unga haka e guba kuku mpata ya kusakala jeba e guko lomba u mtekeshu wako u mtekeshu makpaucha e kota lemi ba ngapa ye eshi eni ngapa kuno usekela mtekeshu o shayu e guo sje uwa sibi no kawle zile bage ni bumbana njani ge nili tala gwe tosha linzima e ngapa kwa sebalin guo sipu kanyisa so za musti banisa lini buza ya Kenja lenza ipenla ngayo. Ke nge kasha ndilifuma na ayo lituba. Dinyulu ayo. Ezo mkokeli. Amin indo. Indo ya figa ayo kumku. I guess kumku yiga. Kota ke at the same time. Dan ni mingi li. Kali nga li ndi mani za tindi zali. Apa kwe li kaila li utu. Dan nga nwe ito nge lagbana. Aguzo baku indo ezi nje. Amin. But again, it wasn't going to be it wasn't going to be in the end as by in the end as by in the end of the Lula. I'm going to know you and I'm going to know you. So send you up. I'm going to know you. I'm going to know you. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to know you. Bagui, bagui space. I'm going to know you. I'm going to know you. The best game possible. I'm going to know you. Ugo za make sure ugo na team ya siya wina ezi kaila. Indo zenze gayo, indo zenze politics, minga baano za nga papa itimi tina tina sezgeno zo zindo. Mna ike pofa ndi zikene zo zindo. Amanja wa awafiki apo. So apo ndi chongyo gwa wana puti za tuna fundeke siyenze make sure ugo siya wina sili kaila. Enye nenye izo ulingi swa nga baba haba fagwe ugo za Positions. Yabule la Ongama. Ongama. Going once, going twice. The Gautan Oh, okay. Hey, bye. Kau tu man, lama ngah aku man, adi tifu nge ni 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 balance aku lung sela lah. Go T20 win the best 20 World Cup ngah apa. Eh, tifu nge ni pin ni zamu fana man ngah aku elit out the Ivy. So, kau 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 just touch sela ba. Uamba jadi lang kelip agati uba. Eh, ni bela kere elit lungi le yo for T20 World Cup ni pin ngah apa. Di tadi nama ngah aku elit le no post le yo the Ivy. Di atas sebeli kelip le bola kali. Ewe, kama yama kashi ya tando banzima. Kuba ya zusitisho, sinzamu, sinzamu pala, hapa hii, titu endi, ipinde nga hapa hii, ube hii, ugo zamu qualifier for the World Cup ya 50 over. Inja ila samu, samu tila nga yubana si waina ni 50 over ngoko, nesbela si yazi si akala ngomso, ndaba legle yugu tibana, Ugu spense kubana si amphumele la pana kwa 50 over. Titi titi tuendi izo lande la. I mean just not a yoga set. Abasha ali abasha la yiki 50 over. Baya fana na abasha la yiki titi tuendi. So logo iko na la iko na la momentum um na la consistency as as if manayo. But inu ngoku inga mancha nuge la papa mguu tule 50 over. Si kubole la manwa ngo asno kwa zua fumana. Ni 20 over si zaibo na yona kwa next week. Tangi, tangi, Minir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Kanyis. Angama, are you with us? Yes, this is in corner. Okay, you can ask your question. You'll be the last one. Thank you. I'm going to ask you, Mola Temba. I'm going to ask you, 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 better. I'm expecting one of the things you do a bit of, um, yeah. Ongama, we're losing you um, in bits and pieces. It's expected when you could tell me the series. And okay, in the abuse, neba um, since I ex since I bought enough niggas, ex expected when you could tell me the ODI series, could tell me as a batsman. Uh, more especially in the banana, like he um, one scored runs in the ODI, and we born a guy, Iba like a guy, and I know, but 
um even go be captain ANZ runs um in terms of focal leader from the front kawi kawi captain ndia vagal yeah yeah line yakho be khauka but i think the bambile i umbuzo wakho ah ingibalekile noba umkhokheli you know akhokhelo from the pambile um now we are still doing the Kohai, so I believe in terms of he runs in the score up. Um, I'm going to bandy from Milan and now in Milan. In the Ogba, I give one day cricket, bending a bending a score. Um, I'm going to bandy from Milan and now up. What do I get in terms of injuries? Um, I'm a bit chill. Who who can get up from Gapang Bill? Um, the bonds the bonds in jail of Gabany. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Thank you for all of your questions. Um, I will, as always, make these, the link to um, this interaction available as quickly as possible. Have a fantastic um, remainder of your day, and we will chat to you guys tomorrow at the post-match press conference. Hopefully, the weather holds. Um, we do have a 90% um, weather, um, you know, <laughs> Uh, we do the 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 the, the weather update says ninety percent chance of with of, of of rain. So um, we'll hope to have a full game tomorrow. Uh, have a fantastic day, and we'll chat soon. Thank you. 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 Thank you.